Hey everyone, it's Marie. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I have a kit unboxing for the My Creative Scrapbook June main kit and I'm going to take you through what's in the kit and then I'm going to create a layout with the kit today. So the kit includes these creative embellishments which are wood veneer phrases and I think there's five phrases in here. I'm going to show you what's in here. Just going to open this up and these are gorgeous. They're perfect for titles and I love pieces like this to include. I'll probably end up using one on every one of my projects this month but I absolutely love these. I love the darker um, tone of wood as well. And so there you can see one says destination, one says explore, there's a journey, another one says escape, and then lastly adventure. So love those. Um, I also love the scale of them. They're, um, you know, not too tiny. So they've got some size to them and they will definitely stand out as a nice title piece on a project. So I'm just going to show you two here that they're fairly thick, but not too thick. So they're just, I feel like they're the right thickness for a project. We also get the, one of the Vicki Booten Let's Wander stencils. And this one is the star stencil, which I feel like is one of my favorite stencils from that release. And it's just a really nice quality. It's super thick. And I'm just going to take it out of the packaging here and show you. The packaging is also beautiful, so I will also be saving that. And just showing you here that this is just a really nice quality stencil. It's an 8 by 6 stencil and it is uh, very nice. Now I also want to show you here you get the Let's Wander cardstock sticker sheets. And this is a 6 by 12 double sided sticker sheet that has icons and phrases. You also get the um, in the kit two sides of um, uh, chipboard and that includes all kinds of icons and phrases as well and so that's a 6 by 12 double-sided chipboard you also get this 40 piece uh, collection of die cut pieces some of them are of um, vellum and some of them are foiled and just beautiful for layering I love these and definitely the travel theme also in the kit you get another die cut pack and this one is the 50 pack and it has just a bunch of different die cut pieces here, including florals and all kinds of travel theme stuff. So just love that. That's super fun. Then you get all of these papers and the majority of them are from Let's Wander, but there's also a few pieces of the Simple Stories going places. So this one here that I'm flipping is Simple Stories. Then this next one here is Vicki Booten Let's Wander Again. So you can see there's kind of like painterly splat splotches. And then on the other side, just that beautiful sort of sunburst of colors. Then there's the waves paper and the sunglasses from Let's Wander. This one is again from Simple Stories Going Places. So it's got the luggage on the one side, I believe, and cameras maybe, a text on the other side on navy. This is Vicki Booten Let's Wander Again, which is kind of like the fireworks and then all of these um, strips of sort of like paint strokes. Uh, this again is from Simple Stories Going Places, a tone on tone, and then tags on the other side, which would uh, be really fun to fussy cut as well. Uh, let's Wander Again with this, just this beautiful paper. I love both sides of that one. And again, Let's Wander a pink uh, animal print. And on the other side, it's just, uh, this would just be a beautiful background piece. Um, this one could be a cut apart of uh, little Polaroids from Let's Wander. And then on the other side, again, a tone on tone, really distressed looking paper. This is also Let's Wander with the envelopes and the paper airplanes. So sweet. I uh, love that one. And also Let's Wander. This is a tone on tone orange, which kind of, which kind of has like a mermaid tail pattern on it. And then, um, on the other side, a cut apart four by three cards. So those are all of the papers. That's a ton of paper in the kit. And the great thing is that there's so many embellishments with this kit too. So you could create a ton of different projects. Now what I'm doing is I'm just sorting through the two die cut packs. So that's 90 pieces of ephemera. And I'm just going through them and picking out the ones that I think I might use on my first project. So the photo that I'm going to be scrapping for my first project is a landscape. <laughs> 
landscape orientation photo of my son on a recent trip that he took for work. Um, there was a conference and they went to Vegas. And when I say recent, obviously not like in the last couple of months, but it was just before Christmas, I believe. And um, so I wanted to scrap that photo and it's a picture of him um, in the evening in front of one of the hotel, like the big fountain things. Um, I'm not sure which hotel, but anyways, um, I will ask him so that I can write that somewhere on the layout. Um, but I, what I'm starting to do here is just getting my photo ready. So I've printed it in black and white. I'm just going to trim it up. I want to trim the border off of this photo. So um, you'll just see me taking all of the white space off the area around that photo. And then I'm going to take my distressing tool and distress the edges of the photo. So this layout's actually going to be really distressed and kind of grungy looking. I am going to be doing some mixed media on the layout. And I love Vicki Booten's mixed media line. It's beautiful. So if you've got some of that, it pairs up nicely with this kit and um, if you don't, just if you want to do a little bit of mixed media with me and follow this layout, um, you can just use whatever you have. If you've got some watercolors, if you've got some paste, if you've got some acrylic paint, um, you know what? You can use any of those things and do the same techniques that I'm doing here today. So I am going to be using um, Vicky's really inexpensive watercolor set and I have swatched those out. And I just wanted to take some of the pieces that I had sorted out that I might want to use and match up some of the colors from the watercolors to what I want to do with my mixed media here. So these, uh, this little perforated stamp um, set of die cut pieces here, which I love, by the way, um, I thought a lot of the colors that are in those little stamps are probably what I'm going to end up using on this um, layout. The nice thing about a black and white photo is you can use whatever colors you want. So you just have to decide what your color palette is going to be. And because it is a, a layout of my son, I wanted to kind of go with uh, more of a masculine um, color scheme here. So I am sticking with like the greens and the teals and the yellows. And I really love mixing orange and teal on a layout. So um, we'll see how it goes here. So I have a piece of thick white cardstock, heavier cardstock for my stash, and I have treated it with some gesso. And you can see that I've put out those watercolors over to the side there, just on a piece of plastic. You don't need any fancy watercolor palette or anything like that. Uh, a piece of packaging from some of the, the products that you may have or whatever. So I've got my watercolors there and I have uh, one of the Vicky Boone flat brushes and I'm just watering down the paints and I'm just adding them. And my idea was to kind of create an L shaped area for my photo to sit or at least, um, yeah, something like that is sort of what I was thinking of doing to begin with here. So I'm just loosely putting this down. I'm mixing some colors together. I'm, you know, lifting the paper up and letting the papers run. Um, you'll also see me doing a little bit of splattering and I'm going to use my heat tool here as well to dry things as I go. So here you can just see I'm tapping the brush to make it splatter. You can make any kind of a paintbrush splatter. It doesn't matter if it's a flat brush or a round brush. It can be any sort of brush. It might change the types of splatters you get slightly or where the splatters go. But really, to be honest, you can splatter with any kind of brush. So I am splattering away there because probably I was too lazy to um, get another brush dirty at this point. <laughs> but uh, so I'm just going to dry that and I am going to just continue adding more color. So love this color scheme. I think it's just super pretty. And the really great thing about the Vicky Booten collections, including Let's Wander, is they all just go so beautifully with her mixed media products. So it doesn't matter what you have from her line, it's going to go with this kit. Um, if you didn't get Let's Wander yet, this kit's for you. It's uh, full of it. It's got all the best pieces from Let's Wander. And um, and the, the great thing right now about ordering kits is it's kind of hard to get stuff these days. And so if you have been really wanting this collection, this kit's a really great way to get that collection. 
was just going to add some yellow splatter on there, get that going down and just kind of keep, I keep adding my photo back here and thinking, okay, this is the scale of my photo. This is the size of my photo. Um, where else do I want my mixed media? Um, what do I, what am I okay with covering up for the mixed media and so on. And so I'm just going to keep, you'll just see me continuing to grab that photo, place it on the layout just to make sure that I'm happy with how everything is going and where I am placing things. And I'm just going to continue to add that watercolor and uh, dry and add and splatter and, you know, on and on. Same routine over and over again. Hopefully it doesn't bore you to watch it. If you're not particularly fond of um, doing a mixed media background, maybe perhaps you could follow the same design that I'm doing here and use one of the pattern papers for a background because there's a few pattern papers in the kit that actually have kind of like a mixed media look to them. Like they have a mix, it is a mixed media background or it would provide that look for you. So you could totally use the same kind of design, some of the same techniques that I'm using for building the layout besides the background uh, and, uh, and follow along with me in that way. So here you can see, I'm just adding more, building more layers, drying, adding more layers. And um, in that way, it'll just sort of like build up some depth with that background. And as it's going along here, I'm really loving how this is looking. I love the mix of the blues and the greens and the yellows. I think it just looks really pretty. And when it's all finished, I'm going to be super happy with this mixed media layout and just have so much fun doing this. I find it really super relaxing and I have to be perfectly honest during this time, I have had some real slumps. I've had some times where I just have not felt creative at all. I've just sort of felt like, you know, when I've been in my scrap room, I just kind of like sit here and move things around on my table, but I don't really get anything produced. And, um, I don't know. It's, it's been, I've been sort of like really back and forth. Have some of you felt like that too? If you have, um, comment below and let me know. I, I do really appreciate though, all of the people that have been creating and, um, posting, it's been really fun watching, but, um, there have definitely been times where I just really haven't wanted to make anything, which is really odd for me. And so, um, when I did get this kit, it, I just smiled and was super, super happy to see that it was Vicky's line because I do find that I am really inspired by her uh, products for sure. So now I want to take some of the champagne gold acrylic paint and I want to run it through this stencil. Now, if you do have some products that you can stencil with, this stencil is fantastic. And what I really love about it is all of the different sizes of stars on this, um, on the stencil so that it's, it's like you get such a wide array of, um, stars and it's really cool to use if you're just sort of wanting to make sort of like little focal point areas with that stencil, super easy to create that with the type of, um, uh, designs that you have here. Now I'm just watering down that paint and I'm just going to take a smaller brush here and splatter some of that champagne gold paint in the background just to give some shine to my project. Now I'm just making sure that this is dry before I touch it and I'm just going to rip off one side of the layout just because I, I knew that I wanted to use some pattern paper here um, but I just I, th I thought that one way to do that would be to create a little area over on the side where I could just tear away and then put a strip of that pattern paper on that side. So I'm going to use that tone on tone kind of teal paper from the kit. I'm going to just cut a strip off of it. I'm going to just sort of like measure so that I don't need to use too much of the paper. This paper, by the way, is one of the ones that you could use for your mixed media background if you didn't want to create your own mixed media. Now I'm just taking some uh, tissue paper. This is just paper that I got, I think, in some packaging, like in some shoes I bought or something. And I'm just going to fold that up and put it down as a layer behind my photo. And you can see how this is really distressed looking. And I love that. I love 
anything grungy. Do you know one of my favorite designers out there and creators is Tim Holtz. I love all of his um, grungy looking stuff. I think it's so cool. And I really wanted to create uh, just a really distressed looking uh, project here today. So this is why I'm just, you know, taking that distressing tool, making everything, roughing up the edges of everything. And you'll see I used the packaging uh, from one of those ephemera packs as a layer behind my photo here. So now I'm just going to take my stapler and I'm just going to go in and grab some of these beautiful ephemera die cut pieces and I'm, go I'm going to just staple them to my photo mat and just um, you can just see here I'm just going to add those and staple them on and just get this all layered up and I love how this looks when it's all finished. So I'm just going to add a little bit of craft foam behind my photo and I will add some liquid adhesive and stick that down to my photo mat area. Now I'm going to take that little compass that's in one of the die cut packs. I'm going to put some foam adhesive on the back of that. I'm going to stick my photo layer down, use my square, my T-square ruler here just to make sure I have that straight. I've used one of the four by three cards from the four by three cut apart sheet as a journaling card over there to the right of my photo mat area and I wanted to cover up that little pink part on that cut apart I didn't want any pink on here so I'm going to just use a little bit of foam adhesive and pop up that compass and use that as a um, cool little die cut area on the side of my photo I'm not too worried about what I'm covering up there on the photo because there's it's just sort of like a continuous photo. It doesn't really hide anything important. And so I'm just going to add that in there. It just covers out part of that fountain, which is like all the way across behind Jordan there in the photo. So it's not a big deal. Sometimes it's, it's bad if you're covering up part of your picture, right? But it wasn't the case for the area that I'm covering there. Now I want to take some of this chipboard. Now Vicki Booten's chipboard love it always it's always so interesting what she what she um, has on her chipboard sheets and there's several pieces that can be used for titles and I really liked this one here that you can see that I choose chose sorry and so I'm going to um, use that little phrase there with the wood veneer explorer and I'm going to just get that situated underneath a picture and there you can see I'm going to kind of try to create a bit of a diagonal line. So there you can see the title Explore New Places. And then I'm just going to kind of try to create some other little um, details to some of the other little cluster areas that I'm creating. I'm going to take some foam adhesive and I'm going to layer that um, twice. So two little pieces of foam, one on top of the other on the bottom part of that uh, wood veneer because I want the bottom of that title piece to um, you know, be lifted up off of the layout so that the explore part, the top of the explore part is going to sit properly on my photo. And now I'm just taking some of the free stickers from the cardstock sticker sheet, some of the uh, chipboard pieces, and just adding, just having fun and adding different things around. So one of the little phrases that I add to the top of the photo says pit stop and it's black. And I just like that little pop of black there. And I love all of the little shiny stars, the little circles with gold stars on them on the chipboard sheet and the phrase stickers on the cardstock sticker sheet. There's so many, so many things on so many embellishments on these sticker sheets as well. So this little orange orange one says what a view and I wanted to use little pops of orange here and there so you can see there's a little bit in the um, photo mat area on the top there's a little bit on the photo mat area on the left side and now I'm just putting a little bit of orange down at the bottom and that little chipboard piece that I'm adding there is kind of like a, a grid sort of pattern 
with orange as well. So I'm going to stick that down there. I eventually go in and add liquid adhesive to all of these chipboard pieces to make sure that they don't um, fall off of all of this mixed media that I have on my project. And I'm going to add that circle chipboard piece that says here at the top. And then I'm just gonna um, sprinkle around the layout some more of those little chipboard stars and uh, black circles with the gold stars in them. And I love how this turned out, it's so cute. This kit is jam packed full of awesomeness. So make sure you check it out. I will leave links to everything in the description box below. I'm just showing you here the details. I've sewn in three different areas with my sewing machine and I've just left the threads loose and I didn't trim them off or anything just because I felt like it added some nice extra texture on the layout. And um, yeah, so make sure you hop over to my creative scrapbook website and check out all of the uh, great kits. They offer a bunch of different kinds of kits. This is the main kit for June. Love the kit. I'm so happy with it. And I really like how this first project turned out. So hope you did too. And thank you so much for stopping by. And I hope to see you here again on my channel another time. Have an amazing day, guys. Stay safe. I'm thinking about all of you and take care. Bye-bye.